Hey. How you doing? Good. Beautiful. Can I touch you? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. It's beautiful. It's perfect. Yeah. Thank you. It's perfect. Keep your eyes on the tracks through the fields. Somewhere there's blue. Time will tell. She'll see us through. Friends, shalom, welcome. Traditionally in Jewish heritage, we sign a ketubah. It's a marriage document that professes the promises that the bride and the groom make to one another. In this case, Monica and Ben are going to be making promises to one another, uh, mutual promises to one another in this ketubah. Uh, essentially, once it's formally signed, they're just about married, okay? We have to say the vows yet, but this is one requirement to have a ketubah. It requires uh, two witnesses, two adim, and I'm going to call forward at this time the two witnesses identified by Monica and Ben. It's a lot of pressure. I know. <laughs> <laughs> this one's forever. <laughs> and also... Just where it says witness right there on that line, okay? Mm-hmm. And the other interesting note in a Jewish wedding, the interesting note is that um, we know in some uh, other traditions the bride isn't supposed to see the groom. But in fact, in our tradition, the groom and the bride are supposed to see one another before the ceremony so that they can sign the ketubah. So in fact, that's why if anyone's questioning that, it is because in our tradition, they do come together to sign the ketubah. You'll sign first. Sign or print? No, you can sign it right okay. now. Okay. <laughs> Oh, 
we have officially completed the signing of the ketubah. So for our first time for this evening, let's pronounce a mazel tov. Mazel tov. Congratulations. <laughs> awesome. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Then, Monica, you stand just outside the chuppah, and it's come to symbolize many things. A home, a garment, a bed covering, and a reminder of the tents of our nomadic ancestors. You'll notice that it's open on all sides, as was the tent of Abraham and Sarah, the paragon of hospitality, so that visitors would know that they were always welcome. As a couple celebrates their union in marriage, the chuppah is understood as a sign of God's presence in the home that they are establishing. If it is your intention to create such a union, please join me a little closer. Beruchim haba'im b'shem Adonai, blessed are you who have come here in the name of God. Ivdu et Adonai b'simcha bo'lefanav birnana. Serve Adonai with joy. Come into God's presence with song. We rejoice that Ben and Monica join in marriage in the presence of God and loved ones. Mi adir al hakol, mi baruch al hakol, mi gadol al hakol, hu yivarech hatan v'chala. O most awesome, glorious, and blessed God, grant your blessings to this bride and this groom. Surrounded by loved ones whose joy and prayers are with you here, you stand at this chuppah, symbol of the Jewish home. May your home be a shelter against the storm, a haven of peace, a stronghold of faith and love. I ask all of us here this evening to join me in a prayer of gratitude. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam shehechianu v'kiyamanu v'higiyanu lazman hazeh. In this union, the sacred work of creation goes on. God joining man and woman, God planting the divine likeness within them. Man and woman were created in the divine image. Male and female, God created them. May the union of Ben and Monica 
Animate the divine in each of them, and may each help the other to grow in God's likeness. Monica and Ben, as I was considering what narrative, what story I might start this wedding homily with, I thought deeply about your first meeting, and then the longer gap of six to seven years before you met again and began dating. Both times, maybe, just maybe, over a glass of wine. And it made me think of why we use wine in almost every life cycle ritual. Even one where I officiated this morning at a baby naming. They are first incorporating wine as at a very significant moment in time, but at the beginning of life. Just as you're going to drink from two cups of wine this evening, there are two thoughts suggested by the use of wine in a wedding ceremony. The first is that the wine is a symbol of the sweetness that we wish for you in your life together. There will be times where you'll drink from other cups, from bitter ones, but life offers opportunity to savor the sweetness. The awareness of the possibility of a life filled with true meaning is what we toast this evening. The good that is life. The second is that wine is a symbol of our sharing. You've shared years together, and out of this time you've grown a love that has brought you to this particular day. You will, as a symbol of your enduring cooperation, share cups of wine this evening, symbolizing sharing all that the future has to bring. You know, but I have one more thought about wine. Many wines taste better with age. Full-bodied red wines like Cabernet Sauvignon or Shiraz and dessert wines, right? I don't believe that maybe you were quite ready some years ago when you first met. Your lives needed to age just a little bit, so to speak, before you could truly create the wonderful, sweet, and rich, perfectly balanced couple that you have become and that you will continue to be. That takes time and life experience together. You spoke to me of your ultimate connection with one another as being beshared, meaning meant to be. Ben, you had a sense that Monica was right from you from the very start. You mentioned that she is beautiful with big expressive eyes and that she is so smart. You've come to see that you possess similar values, and you so appreciate that she is close with her family as you are with yours. Also, she's straightforward and willing to get to the heart of any matter. At the same time, she can be a little shy and yet very outgoing. And certainly one quality of Monica that you have seen is her selflessness and the ability to give that support and response that you need when you need it. Monica, when you met Ben years after your first meeting, you reflect that it was almost like being, that he was conducting an interview. <laughs> for some, that might not work, but for you, found, you found it very refreshing because his conversation and questions were deep and there is no silly nonsense. You said he's a straight shooter and laser focused. Over future dates, you loved his great smile and his broad shoulders, and that he's very smart and a generous person and doesn't mince his words. You too recognize that the two of you possess very similar values, and very importantly, he could make you laugh. Couples learn much about one another in difficult times, and I know that your relationship has gone through challenges that you face together. You've become stronger as a couple, ready to meet all of life's sorrows and joys as one. You enjoy relaxing together, but as you mentioned, you can be silly together as well, even with your own little language. Monica, Ben, you are an example that God is still creating in this world by putting couples together helping them to meet one another once, and in your case, even twice. Twice when it was right. 
This evening, may you remember the symbolism of the wine. Wine represents the cup of life. As you share cups of wine this evening, you will undertake to share all that the future might bring to you. All of the sweetness life's cup can hold for you should be sweeter because you're going to share that together. Whatever drops of bitterness may contain should be less bitter because you share together. The key is to continue to be there for one another, to love one another, and share all that life holds in store for the two of you, truly, this evening. And for your life, a mazel tov and a congratulations. And so for the very first time this evening, you will share the cup of life together as we pronounce the blessing over the wine. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Borei Peri HaGafen Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam asher kidshanu b'mitzvotav v'hitia lanu et ha'nisuim v'nisuot lanu al yedei chupa v'kidushin. Baruch atah Adonai mekadesh amo Yisrael yedei chupa v'kidushin. We praise you, Adonai our God, ruler of the universe, who hallows us with mitzvot and consecrates this marriage. We praise you, Adonai our God, who sanctifies our people Israel through the rite of kidushin, the sacred rite of marriage at the chupa. As you bend, Place this ring on the finger of your bride. Speak these words to her. <coughs> Hareat. Hareat. Mikudeshet li. Mikudeshet li. Bitaba atzo. Bitaba atzo. Kedat Moshe. Kedat Moshe. The Yisrael. The Yisrael. With this ring. With this ring. Be consecrated to me. Be consecrated to me. As my wife. As my wife. According to the faith. According to the faith. Of Moses. Of Moses. And Israel. And Israel. And as you, Monica, place this ring upon your bridegroom's finger as a token of wedlock, and say to him these words, Hare Ata, Hare Ata, Mikudashli. Bitaba Atzo, Kedat Moshe, the Yisrael. With this ring, be consecrated to me as my husband, according to the faith of Moses and Israel. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam borei pri hagafen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam shakho bara lichvodo. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam yatsa haadam. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher yatsa et haadam betzalmo betzalem damu tavnito. Hidkin lanu mimenu binyan adei chupa. Baruch atah Adonai yotze haadam. Sos tasis vitager tzion bikibutz baneha tich... Litocha besimcha. Baruch ata Adonai mesamech zion vivanecha. Samech kesamach reim ha'ahuvim kesamechachacha yitzirchacha bagan eden mikedem. Baruch ata Adonai mesamech hatan vechala. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melecha alam asher bara sason vesimcha hatan vechala gila rina ditza vechevda ahava vachava shalom vereut. Meheira Adonai Eloheinu Yisama Be'are Yehuda Uvchutzot Yerushalayim Kol sason vekol simcha Kol chatan vekol kala Kol mitzchalot Chatanim Mechupatam Un'arim Minsate Neginachtam Baruch Ata Adonai Mesameh chatan ve'im Hakala we praise you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe, creator of the fruit of the vine. 
We praise you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe, creator of all things for your glory. We praise you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe, creator of man and woman. We praise you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe, who creates us to share with you in life's everlasting renewal. We praise you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe, who causes Zion to rejoice in her children's happy return. We praise you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe, who causes bride and groom to rejoice. May these loving companions rejoice as they have from cre your creatures from the days of creation. We praise you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe, creator of joy and gladness, bride and groom, love and kinship, peace and friendship. O oh God, may there always be heard in the cities of Israel and in the streets of Jerusalem the sounds of joy and of happiness, the voice of the groom and the voice of the bride, the shouts of young people celebrating, and the songs of children at play. We praise you, our God, who causes the bride and groom to rejoice together. And so for a second time this evening, you share from the cup of wine. As you have shared the wine from a single cup twice, so may you, under God's guidance, share contentment, peace, and fulfillment from the cup of life. May you find life's joys heightened, its bitterness sweetened, and each of its moments hallowed by true companionship and love. And so I refer, just for a moment, to the, kupah, the ketubah that we signed earlier this evening. And it tells us, the Shiva and this is one that most of us should understand. The um, Bedminster, New Jersey. <laughs> we also read that. Uh, Nichnesu Dov Kalman Ben Zeleg Ve Ala Ben that's you. But Seo Bat Dov the Shalmit uh, and that's you came here together this evening. And it says on the seventh day of the week, the seventeenth day of the month of Tammuz in the year fifty seven seventy six, corresponding to the twenty third day of July in the year 2016 here in Bedminster, New Jersey, in the presence of family and friends, the beloveds shared in a covenant of marriage. So in the presence of these witnesses, and in keeping with our tradition, you have spoken the words and performed the rites that unite your lives. Ben. Monica, you are now husband and wife in the sight of God, the Jewish community, and all people. We pray for you that your life will be one of joy and gladness and peace. And I ask all those who are gathered here this evening to pray in silence and to pronounce a prayer for Ben and Monica. The chuppah is a symbol, really, of that home, but it's only covered with a talit. But the talit is very sacred to us. It reminds us of the mitzvot. And certainly this evening, with your love, you fulfill one of the mitzvot. And so we wrap the two of you in this talit, sharing it together. and pronounce these ancient words. May God bless you and keep you. May God's presence shine down upon you and be gracious to you. May God's presence 
shine down upon you and be gracious to you, granting you peace, happiness, love, all the days of your existence. As all of us say, Amen. So two things left, two things left that I think people anticipate in a wedding. First, um, let me invite you for the first time as husband and wife to kiss one another. <laughs> the breaking of glass dates back to the writing of the Talmud. Mar Rabina made marriage, a marriage feast for his son. Just as they were about to share, he observed that the rabbis present were very happy. So he seized an expensive goblet and broke it down before them. Then he made them sober. Rabina's point is, where there is rejoicing, there should also be trembling. It is a transforming experience that leaves individuals changed forever. Also the glass, is a reminder of the fragility of life and also the fragility of human relationships. In this context, the glass is broken to protect the marriage with the implied prayer. As this glass shatters, so may our marriage never break. So we end this service with the breaking of a glass. Mazel tov. Congratulations. Congratulations. It is my honor to present to you for the first time as husband and wife, Ben and Monica. Put your hands together. So good, so good. I got you. Hey! Come on, put those hands together.
Make some noise for our bride and groom. <clears throat> Good evening, all. The day your daughter uh, gets married, it is an emotional day for everyone. It is well known that human brain is the most fascinating and complex machine. It starts to work the moment when we are born and never stops until the moment we stop stand up and speak in public. So, pl <laughs> so please forgive me for stuttering, forgetting my lines, going too fast or too slow, <clears throat> looking sometimes on my notes, or forgetting why I'm here in first place. I would like to start on behalf of, uh, <clears throat> of the bride's mother, Allah, myself, Ben's parents, parents, Janet and Zane, to give a warm welcome to all of the relatives and friends who have joined us to celebrate this wedding. I know that many of you have traveled long distance to be here. Thank you all for coming to help celebrate this very special day for us. We are missing a few people today, but they are on our minds. Monica's grandmothers, Babadusa and Leah, who could not join us today due to age, both of them wish Monica and Ben luck, happiness, prosperity, and wonderful life together. I would like also to take a moment to remember Monica and Ben's grandfathers, who are no longer with us. While preparing this speech, I decided to get out a few old photo albums for inspiration. Memories and emotion came back to me as I turned the pages, and one picture that stood out from all others was a photograph of my precious daughter, Monica, laying on a rug, reaching with outstretched arms. Monica was born, I blinked, and here I am, giving the father of the bright speech. I could go on and on, recounting different episodes from her childhood, but I promise not to talk about it, except that we are fortunate to have a daughter who is always loving and caring and was absolute delight to raise except the age eight to 18. <laughs> I understand that every daughter fears this moment in her wedding and begins to thinking, oh my God, what is my dad going to say? I'm supposed to give a, 
and embarrassing stories about Monica, but she has more embarrassing stories about me. So she is safe. I'm not going to tell any of those stories, but uh, rather I'm going to say thank you, Monica, for all your love. We will always be there for you. Monica is blessing to Allah and me, and we know she will also be blessing to Ben and his family. I hope that Ben's family, family feels the same way about Monica. Today, I looked at my daughter and I see a beautiful, independent, smart young woman who obviously uh, takes after her mother. To watch any child from birth making the journey through their childhood years with all the trials and tribulations involved is indeed a wonderful experience. She is ambitious and independent, but also loyal and caring. And today, she has joined hands with a wonderful young man. And in addition to the sparkle I have always seen in her eyes, today I also see love and joy beyond anything I have seen before. Every parent hopes their daughter will find a considerate, sensible, and reliable partner. You also hope your child will take a right choice in life. Monica's choice is Ben. I'm certain you will agree that Monica and Ben is match made in heaven. How stunning they are. This marriage is full of love, happiness, and contentment. Ben, we are delighted. Welcome into our family. I hope both families feel fortunate that our children met each other. Of course, marriage is not just about finding the perfect partner, but also about being one. Monica has made such success in her life and career so far that I am sure her marriage to Ben will be just as successful. Ben has many <coughs> uh, good <coughs> uh, <coughs> qualities as well. Now we know how adventurous, fearless, comparative and determined he is. Against all odds, he was able to talk Monica into a relationship. <laughs> ben has achieved such extraordinary accomplishment for his age, which are only obtainable through pure diligence, personal sacrifice, and great deal of pain. Some of you may not know that Ben chose a traditional route and ask me for my consent to the marriage. I, of course, accept right the way before he could change his mind. <laughs> ben is determined, dedicated, ambitious as hell, as well as I think Ben is modest, genuine, thoughtful, and kind, while being both easygoing and strong-willed at the same time. Maybe sometimes a little oversensitive, but very supportive of Monica. After telling you both how wonderful you are and, and how worthy you are of each other, I had better to finish off. But before, I would like to offer one or two final thoughts. As any parents, uh, we can give advice. Nevertheless, the child always knows better, but I will try anyway. Ben, all I can say that I have survived 35 years with Allah by agreeing that she is almost always right. And deafness has helped me the past 15 years. <laughs> Monica, for what is worth to remember that male species could be right sometimes as well. One more, when you are right, have a courage, admit it. Uh, but when you're wrong, admit to. Ben, there is always a good wife behind successful men. Ben will live here tonight with a woman who demands respect and loyalty for herself and all those who she loves. Now, finally, I will be pleased to hear and everybody else 
that I finished my speech. And all that is left is propose the first toast. Please stand up and raise your glass. May Monica and Ben be blessed with happiness that grows with love that lasts forever. To bride and groom, Monica and Ben, we wish them enjoyment for today, the fulfillment of their hopes and dreams for tomorrow, and love and happiness always. To the bride and groom, Monica and Ben. Let's have a big round of applause for Monica's parents. Good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, I hope you're all having a nice time. I want to thank you all who traveled from some from far distances and some not so far. But the fact that everybody's here is quite a joy to me and my family. Uh, Boris and Allah, you've made a beautiful wedding. And I couldn't be any more happy and any more proud. I would ask you that you all join me in a toast to the newlyweds, Monica and Ben. Monica and Ben, may the happy star that brought you together shine on you for many, many years. And let us raise our glasses to the newlyweds and their happy future. Let's drink to love. L'chaim. Let's have a big round of applause for Ben's father. So we go, some things were meant to be. Take my hand, take my whole life too. a big round of applause for our newlyweds.
I see trees of green, red roses too. I see them bloom for me and you. And I say to myself, what a wonderful world. Colors of the rainbow, so pretty in the sky. Also on the faces of people passing by. I see friends shaking hands, singing, how do you do? They're really saying, I love you. I hear babies cry. I watch them grow. They don't know much more than I'll ever know. I say to myself, what a wonderful world. And I say to myself, what a Let's have a big round of applause for our bride and her father. Have I told you lately that I love you? Have I told you there's no one else above you? Fill my heart with gladness. Take away all my sadness. Ease my trouble, that's what you do. For the morning sun is all its glory. Meets the day with hope and comfort too. Fill my life with laughter. Somehow you make it better. Ease my trouble, that's what you do. There's a love that's divine, and it's yours and it's mine, like the sun. At the end of the day, we should give thanks and pray to the one. To the ones have I told you lately that I love you? Have I told you there's no one else above me? Fill my heart with gladness, you take away all my sadness, ease my troubled days. What you do. Let's have a big round of applause for our groom and his mom. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our bride and groom have chosen to honor both sets of parents with a song. So let's have a big round of applause for Allah and Boris and Janet and Zane. And let's get them up here for this next song. That's what you are unforgettable though near or far like a song of love that clings to me I the thought of you does things to me never before. A someone did more. Unforgettable. 
in every way. And forevermore, and forevermore, that's how you'll stay. Have a big round of applause for both sets of parents.
Hello? <laughs> uh, I just wanted to say a few words. Um, first off, uh, I wanted to thank Boris and Ala um, for, you know, everything that they've uh, done in working towards tonight and putting on, you know, what for us is really something that's going to be memorable. Um, also want to thank my parents that have, uh, you know, contributed as well. Um, so thank you to, to all of you. Um, last but not least, I mean, Monica, <laughs> I think everybody, I think everybody knows that this was really, you know, something that you um, tirelessly sort of worked towards putting on and, uh, you know, I tried to contribute in my own way, <laughs> but I think uh, everyone knows that she's the real brains behind the operation. So, um, you know, thank you for everything that you did towards making this possible tonight. Um, you look amazing and you have been the most consistent uh, person in my life. You're basically the uh, the most supportive person I've ever met, someone that I can always rely on. So um, I love you, and I look forward to a lot of happy years with you. So thank you. That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs>